Hi Awesomeness Junkies, welcome to Hustle is for Life Motivation. Today I have somebody really amazing with me, okay? But before we jump into the intro and the interview, my question to you is, have you subscribed to the channel? Because if you haven't, this is the perfect opportunity for you to go down below and hit the subscribe button because if we are actually in an official relationship, okay? By subscribing, we can be in an official relationship where you can stay up to date with all of the latest videos from Hustle is for Life. They go straight into your inbox. You know exactly when a new video is up and you can actually catch up with everything in your own time, okay? So first of all, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Now today's guest, today's guest is a peak performance coach and a speaker. He's a public speaker who helps people to create quick and lasting results in their lives, okay? He has worked with thousands of people through coaching and his seminars and his workshops, okay? All from different backgrounds. So he's worked with CEOs, entrepreneurs, directors, singers, actors, therapists, lawyers, bankers, engineers, students, just to name a few. Now, about five years ago, he was actually going through a time where he was battling depression, anxiety, uh, so low self-esteem, low confidence, um, and he was also suffering with uh, poor health. Now, despite all those challenges, he really managed to turn his life around, and now he actually uses his own experiences to help others to take charge of their lives um, and their businesses and to really take them to the next level, okay? And his passion is just so apparent, okay? Uh, if you go to his Facebook page, you go to his Instagram page, he's very, very active. And his passion is to actually help people unearth their power and their potential uh, that lies within themselves. So without much further ado, please help me welcome Mr. Raghav Pakash. Raghav, thank, thank you, you so, <laughs> what so much. Introduction. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate the introduction. Really sweet introduction. And uh, very kind words. No worries. I like to write a quick introduction for all of my guests. Um, and uh, I think that's, uh, that's really important that uh, going into the interview, the audience is aware of like, what kind of person am I bringing on, the level of the person. And I'm so glad to have you on, man. Like uh, I said in the introduction, you have worked with thousands of people from different backgrounds, everybody from CEOs to uh, students and bankers and lawyers. I mean, it's just amazing. So um, I think today we're going to have a lot of fun in this interview. Um, yeah, definitely, without doubt, can't wait. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So um, let's, talk, let's talk a little bit about your journey. Let's start there. So can you talk a little bit about your journey, about how did you actually get started and why did you actually become um, a life coach? What, what made you decide that you wanted to become um, a peak performance coach? Yeah, amazing. So um, what made me become a coach and how I got here? I mean, it's funny. When I came to this industry, I'll start with like, how I got into this industry. So for me, I went through just challenges when I was younger. And I believe that when you come across the top coaches on the planet today, people that you're really inspired by, they went through either adversity, they went through some challenge, they went through some pain, some suffering, something horrific that happened in their life. And after turning around or using the incredible gifts that lie in that situation, they now are brought to where they are today, which is a coach, a speaker, whatever you want to call it, a creator or a change maker or a light maker, a light spray, all these fancy names. I met a life architect the other day. So all these fancy names, these great, great um, world changes and game changes. But I went from a journey as, you know, Talal said, and I, when I was a kid, I had very little confidence. Mm. You know, people come up to me and say, Rag, you're just a confident guy. you got so much energy on stage. Where do you get it from? Hard work, dedication, focus, applying these tools and strategies in my life that got me incredible results. And now I'm really privileged to do the rest for everyone else around me. So when I was young, I'd basically, long story short, I'd broken through my challenges. I'd turned around depression. I'd turned around low self-esteem. I'd broken through emotional eating. Wow. And I'd got to, uh, finally even done that, I'd got to a place in my life, but just the future was so dark because I'd just gone from one failure to the next. And I remember I just couldn't access my best ability. So at school, I just failed and mm -hmm. everything was getting horrible for me. I was just in a place where everything was so dark. And one day I just snapped to make a decision. I'm sick and tired of this life. Things are so dark. I mean, when I look in the future, there was nothing at all for me. It just looked like failure and misery and suffering. And I just got so pissed off that I just snapped and something inside of me shifted. And when that shifted, my entire world shifted. And back then, mom said, Raghav, you're really inspiring. You should be a motivational speaker. And I said, why? Is it because I can motivate people? And she said, no, it's because you just don't have to shut up. Like, it's because you just talk a lot, right? That's just But in a joking side, she said, Raghav, seriously, yeah. you're really good at this. It's yeah. just my intuition. 
Yeah. And when she told me that, I looked into the field and I became hooked. Mm. Now, today, I don't call myself a motivational speaker for one reason. Motivation comes from the inside out, not the outside in. I don't believe in intrinsic, extrinsic motivation. I don't believe in that. It's just fancy terms. The truth is no one can motivate you. You do that yourself. So instead, I call myself a peak performance coach because for me, that's a study and that's a level of strategy. So as a coach, I'm a strategist that focuses on giving people the best tools and strategies that really create change in their life. I'm talking the real long-term lasting change that when you come to hear me speak or you come to my coaching, my seminars, you're going to work with me, but you're going to get results that last the rest of your life. Not just you go into the shower and then it washes off you. Mm-hmm. I'm talking real confidence, real focus. I've learned the patterns that create motivation so that if someone comes to me, I can help them get motivated like, for the rest of their life, like long-term lasting motivation. Wow. So I was just hooked on what are the real tools and strategies out there that make a difference. I want to study personal excellence, human excellence, success psychology, practical psychology. What is it that can make a difference in someone's life? And that's where I came today. And that's why I call myself a peak performance coach. Because my passion is helping people be the best. Wow. Wow. That's awesome, man. That's an amazing story. Um, and you. Uh, you you touch upon the fact that, you know, um, there are some really amazing people uh, around the world who are like really at the top of the game and, and they help people create massive changes in their lives. And, and like there's literally hundreds of thousands of people going uh, to those seminars. Um, can I actually ask you, just, just building on that, who actually inspires you? Like, who, who is it that you look up to? You know, this is a little bit cheesy, but again, this is something that I've learned from quite a few of my role models, in fact. This is something my mentor taught me, and uh, this, it was famously stated again in that Matthew McConaughey Oscar speech, but yeah. the person I look up to the most is the person I know I can be mm-hmm. in five years' time, ten years' time. That's something that really inspires me because I know what's going to happen in ten years. I can see it. I've got it in my mind. Uh, you know, I was doing some work the other day. I've got my journal here somewhere, and I was just going through my ten-year vision, and I know that's what what I'm going to create. Mm-hmm. So I focus on the person I can be, and I feed that version of me every single day, which is where I get my confidence from. I focus on who I can be, yeah. and who I'm right now, and I appreciate love, and I just act in that way. But in terms of actual mentors and role models, one of my favorite mentors is Jim Rohn. I love Jim Rohn. Mm-hmm. J I M R O H N. If you haven't heard of his name in your personal development, seriously, you need to like. He's the it's like loving football, never hearing of David Beckham. Right? It's just, it doesn't happen. Yeah. So yeah. it's just Jim Rohn is the father of personal development. Mm. He's the guy that's mentored my other mentors. He's mentored Darren Hardy, Les Brown. He's mentored Dennis Waitley, Jack Canfield, Tony Robbins. These five other leaders in the industry today. Mm. So all these guys are people that I look up to and I'm totally, totally inspired by. Fantastic. That's awesome, man. And, and awesome. you mentioned some really big names, names there, really big names, um, yeah. including, uh, including uh, yeah. you know, Tony Robbins, yeah. who is Robbins. probably is recognized as the probably. leading number one uh, peak performance coach in the world, I believe. Like, and he is on another level. So, yeah, mm-hmm. awesome. And uh, guys, just like Raghav just said, if you have not heard of Jim Rohn, if you're not familiar with Mr. Jim Rohn, please go and dig it up because that guy was like the, the, the dawn, the actual grandfather of personal development and peak performance yeah. okay um there's mm-hmm. lots of stuff on youtube that actually you can go and check it out for absolutely free by jim Rohn. um mm-hmm. so please go and check that out now raghav you obviously are somebody who's really focused really determined can you actually try and maybe um tell me how do you create uh this this kind of you know change in yourself like clearly you were able to shift you know, uh, your own and turn your own life around. So how did you create the lasting change in yourself? What are your like habits and routines that help you, you know, maintain that and also build on that? Mm -hmm. Amazing. So the secret to change is motivation. It's nothing to do with ability, nothing to do with talent. Everyone can change. So how do I do it myself? Just focusing on what I want firstly, getting really clear about what I wanted in my life, what I want to bring more of. Because for so many of us focus on what we don't want in our life, what we don't want to experience in our life, how things aren't going right, how the neighbor keeps shouting at us, how the wife screams at us when we wake up early for a run, or you know, there's one or the next or the next, and we're focusing on what's not working in our life. Mm. And the more we focus on that, the more we feed it. But instead, I just got to a place in my life, I just got so fed up, I snapped, and I just said, what's the answer? And I figured it out, and it mm. took me from step to step to step. So my focus has always been on the results I want. Yeah. And when I'm in the situation, what do I want to create? So goal achieving machines. All of us achieve goals. Even if you're thinking about you don't want your football team to lose. 
That's a goal, right? If you don't want them to lose, you're thinking about them not losing. Or you don't want this to happen. We're all thinking, but we have to achieve stuff. Yeah. So what we focus on feeds. So how do you create change? Think about what you want, number one. Get really clear. Number two, why? Why do you want to change? What's the shift? What's the breakthrough? Yeah. Because the reason people don't break through isn't because they don't know what it is or what it takes to break through. They don't have what it takes inside of them, that drive, that determination. Hmm. So if you want to shift, connect with your purpose. Why are you here? Why do you want the change? Hmm. And once you once you know your why, yeah. model someone that's had the change you want. Model someone that's done what you want to do. If you want to take your confidence to the roof, model someone that's confident. Hmm. If you want to grow your business to 100 million sales, find someone that's done that and see how they've done what they've done yeah. and then get mentored by them number four is get a mentor get a coach get coached by them and number five take action daily repetition as jim Rohn said repetition is the mother of all skill you get what you repeat and yeah. demand of yourself not what you think about and visualize the law of attraction is great but it's a try action you've got to see the results you want and you've got to back it up with action and that's what makes the principles work hmm. very very powerful my friend thank you so much I love that. I really, really love that. That's beautiful. I think you just added a lot of value to anybody who's actually watching this. You know, Raghav just really added a whole bunch of value because he broke it down for you guys. Uh, one thing I do want to ask is you talk about uh, uh, there about connecting with your purpose, knowing your why, but there's sometimes where people are just not sure what their why is. Like they feel lost. They don't know, uh, you know, I, what what their purpose is in life. What's their mission? Uh, what the mission is in life. So how, how can they actually, you know, start to figure that out? Because I think a lot of people are, get stuck there. Um, and I'm wondering if you have any useful, mm. useful tips or tricks for those guys who, are, who feel that they might be stuck. Yeah, great, great question. It's something that we all go through. We all go through this place in our life where we think we feel stuck. And that's largely because of our belief system. It's because we've taken on certain beliefs in our life, like we need to have this in place. We should do this. Yeah. If you're using the words should yeah. and need to, then double check with yourself if what you're doing is aligned and right and pure and worthy and if it's really what you want. Because when it's something you want, there's no should. There's no, I should eat the chocolate bar. I mm. should go on this nice date with my girlfriend, boyfriend. I should go and earn more money. It's that you want to do that stuff. Yeah. But deep down from within, you want it. So connect with your want. What lights you up? But secondly, your purpose isn't found. Most people think, I haven't discovered my purpose yet. So I found my purpose. I'm going to go to China, meditate with Buddhist monks, climb the Himalayas, <laughs> do all this crazy stuff. And look, I'm all for going traveling for perspective yeah. and yeah. enjoyment and experiencing this beautiful planet. But to discover yourself, you have to go inwards, not outwards. Mm. So how do you discover your passion? Well, figure out your values. You create your passion for your values. Yeah. You've got to find what are the things that drive you the most. Mm. When you know what your values are, the way you aren't, the way you figure out your values is what's important to you about life. What's important to you? If you were to talk to a kid and say, this is how you want to live your life, how would you live it? Yeah. And then do that advice. Whatever that is, it's because you probably need to do that. So follow through in that advice. Hmm. So you create your purpose. You don't find your purpose. You create your purpose from your values. To give an example, I know people that are in an average job, average salary, and they're earning an average income, and they're okay with it. They're in a job they don't like, but they're okay because the job is the vehicle that allows them to go home, spend time with the kids, spend time with the wife, go on a date once a week, play golf on Sundays. They're not looking for the big, big extravagant lifestyle. Where we go wrong is we're going after things we think we have to have in our life and need to have. Yeah. That's not abundant. Hmm. Abundance is when you work out, what do I really want? I want to get the six-pack, not because I saw... This football, I have it the other day on TV. That's not lasting results. Is why? Because is that the best that you can reach? Is that you want to be a peak performance? Do you want the health? Yeah. The finances. I want this because did you see an advert or do you see a friend that do something? Why are you doing? Because this is what you truly want. Hmm. So come from the inside out, and you'll figure out what's important to you. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. amazing advice. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love that. I really, really love that. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank I, I've, I've actually, you know, come across a lot of places like on your website, on Instagram, on Facebook, um, where you talk about the fact that you actually help people create quick and lasting change in their lives. Um, I'm wondering if you can maybe shed some light on that. Like, how do you actually help people create lasting change? Because I know it's so easy to actually just kind of slip back into your old patterns. I mean, that's why most of the time dieting doesn't work or 
you know, the new year resolutions don't work because people, you know, they slip back to their old habits, their old patterns. So how, how do you actually help people create that lasting change in their lives? I think that's, that's really, um, that's really kind of fascinating to me because um, I, I know a lot of people who actually like trying to lose weight or diet or set new, new, new year resolutions about opening a business, etc. And they just, yep. they just never hit those goals. They just go back to their old patterns. Um, and no matter what I really try and, uh, you know, say to them, they don't seem to be able to go and, you know, chase it up and follow it up all the way through. So I'm wondering if, uh, if you can maybe shed some light on that. Sure. So if I start with the example of health, because that's the obvious, that's the most obvious way to um, kick this thing off, because I love what you said about health. I mean, being me, someone who's been for emotional eating, I can tell you a lot about health. The reason I struggled with weight, the reason I struggled to lose weight, the reason I struggled to get into shape was for the wrong reasons. Right. The reason I wanted to lose weight is so I could be good enough. Mm. So I was trying to hit the gym, do the weights, and change on the outside as a way of fixing the inside. But that never works. I've been through different weights. So I was going to Holland and Barrett, popping all these metabolism pills when I was younger. It was horrible. It was horrific. Yeah. But you see, the, the, the stuff is BS at the end of the day. If you want to feel good about yourself, you've got to take a different approach. It's the wrong vehicle. So the reason people struggle to lose weight, struggle with the business, struggle with this, is because they think they need to be entrepreneurs. I don't believe everyone needs to be an entrepreneur. Whoever's preaching this message, you're a victim and a prisoner if you're not, if you're not an entrepreneur. Not everyone can be entrepreneurs. It's impossible on this planet. Some people are naturally fitted to work in nine to five because they love it. That's mm. all they want from life. Yeah. So again, it's number one, why? Why do you want what you want? And don't think about the result, but where are you coming from? Hmm. Are you doing this because you want to feel good enough? Why are you doing this because you genuinely want to lose weight? Like for me, what I love exercising. I have this PT that literally kicks my ass and it's beautiful. <laughs> but if you four times a week I exercise, yeah. four times a week, I've been running twice, I, hit, I do all these crazy pull-ups with him. What gets me through is as a peak performance coach, I want to walk my talk. Hmm. I want to be fit. I want to be strong. I want to be emotionally strong, psychologically strong, mentally strong. I want to walk my talk. So number one, know your why. Number two, create a compelling vision. What does that look like if you're going to win? If you're going to succeed? If you're going to have the results you want? What's the why? What's the impact it's going to have in your life? Yeah. And once you create that, then you feel a lot more certain about your vision. You've got something you're aiming for. Otherwise, it's just like going to the gym for the sake of it. Or it's trying to quit for the sake of it. Like to give an example, there's this famous story. It's a true story about this dad who's trying to quit smoking. And he tried for two years, read all these books, read the Paul McKenna book, read all of this, that, and the other. And in seminars, he just couldn't quit smoking. One day, his daughter back home from school, seven-year-old daughter, and she's crying. And the dad says, honey, why are you crying? And the daughter says, well, dad, A, they said at school, if you smoke, you're going to die. I don't want you to die. And in that moment, the mm. dad quit smoking for the rest wow. of his life. Yeah. Number one yeah. is why. The why is... I don't want my daughter to be without a dad. I don't want my son to be without a dad. Yeah. I don't want my wife to be without a dad. I don't want my parents to be without a son. I don't want my grandkids to be without a granddad in the future when they have kids. He wants to be a granddad. That was one of the things he was looking forward to, etc., etc. He wouldn't be a great manager, a great boss, a great leader, role model, great friend. He wouldn't be around for any of these experiences. Mm. That was his why. His vision, I want to be the best dad I can on the, be on the planet now. I want to set an example for my daughter, my son, my wife. He created a vision. And in that moment, that two-second decision, it changed his entire life. Because all it takes for change is a decision. Yeah. So number three, decide. Number one, know why you want it. Number two, create a compelling vision. Number three, decide to go after it. Decide inside of yourself, why do you want this? Hmm. You see, the people that I'm working with are people that are committed. As a coach, and Talav really, you know, he created a nice um, image of my coaching and he really, you know, made things look really grand and beautiful and everything like that. But the truth is, I can only help someone if they're willing to shift themselves. Mm. So change has got to come from them. If you don't want to change, you've got to find that, that lever for change. So another principle is a pain and pleasure principle. If you stay the same, what's it going to cost you? Yeah. What will it give you once you take action and you create the results you want, which is number four. So if you apply these combinations, it doesn't need to be in that order, but if you combine these four principles together, that's what creates lasting change. And number five, momentum. Doing something daily that leads you towards your goals. Mm. Morning rituals, habits, waking up, thinking about your vision, thinking about the person you want to be, and then defining your top three outcomes and just going and nailing it. So it's daily rituals to keep the momentum up consistently. 
And that for me is how I'd, how I'd work with someone to create lasting change in any area of their life. Brilliant. Awesome, man. That's great. That's, that's really, really powerful. And again, you broke it down and that's fantastic. I think that's what people really need. They need to know how they can actually create change because a lot of the time, um, like I said, they, they will try something and then stop or give up or go back to old, old habits and routines. Um, so they really need to know how they can create lasting change. So I think that's, that was phenomenal advice. Thank you so much for that. Um, I quickly want to um, ask you about the fact that you work with a lot of people, a lot of different people, okay? And you work with, let's say, you know, from CEOs to singers and musicians to therapists and bankers and lawyers to students. Like, is there one thing that you find is a common problem between them? Like, everybody seems to be going through that one thing and everybody's suffering through that one thing or do you find that they're really quite different based on you know uh the people who they are where they're coming from what they're doing what their occupation is uh, is is there something common or is it all different i mean the common denominator is that they're working with me they want more from their life they want to explode their life expand it play it on a higher level but in terms of individual triggers and patterns it's very hard to say because everyone plays the game of life differently. I mean, if there's a few generic patterns, the reason people don't believe in themselves is because they don't think they're good enough. I've had some people with time management issues and not knowing how to say no to certain people mm. and always saying yes to everyone, no to themselves yeah. and lacking self-love. So, And this applies to everyone, even in business, in the corporate world. Self-love isn't a fluffy word. It's a real world. It's a real word. Very few people value themselves truly. So as a coach, it's about getting inside the psychology and thinking, it's great you want to be the superhero, but how powerful can you be with your arms tied behind your back? Yeah. Isn't it time to look after yourself first, get them to peak performance with the habits, rituals, and then they can have the impact. So if anything, it's probably one pattern. It's getting them to start with themselves first, with the mindset, with the inner work, with the habits, the rituals, the standards, and then focusing on the vision. Because people, the reason people don't have the vision isn't because they don't know what to do. Isn't right. because they don't know how to do it. Right. Is that... It's that ability, that effectiveness to fuel, because you're not properly fueled mentally, emotionally, and psychologically. Hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good, man. That's amazing. Awesome. Um, you're right. I think a lot of people do want more from their life. They just don't know how to get there. Um, and you mm -hmm. talked earlier about modeling somebody. And I think that's that yeah. we, can, we can kind of almost go back and link it to that. The fact that if you are, want more from your life, you need to know what kind of results you want and who's already achieved those results and then you just go and try and model that person you just kind of walk in their footsteps and create the same sort of change the same level of success that they were able to create um so i think that's that's amazing advice um and and it's amazing that we were able to kind of go back and, and link it to that as well now going through and, and working with all these different clients now i'm no i'm sure you're a very busy, busy person and you're you're you know jumping on different calls you you've got you know, different seminars to go to, you're, you're a speaker as well, so you speak at different, uh, you know, places, you do workshops. So, in all of this, there's a lot going on just in your life. How are you able to kind of stay on top of things? Because another thing that I think most people struggle with is the fact they see that there's just so much to do. There's just so much going on. How am I ever going to get through this? And then they stop. So maybe, you know, people would like to know how you are able to manage everything um, and how they might be able to manage creating big change in their lives so they can go and achieve the results they want. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, that's a great question. For me, I would come back to what I said earlier and start with yourself. Okay. It's always good to start with yourself. So to make sure that you're well fed, you're looked after, you're mentally rested, emotionally rested, you're you're in a good place. You know, I know there's, you see, is that an alignment with your values? Because if I give you an example of one of my favorite thinkers called Gary Vaynerchuk, I love yeah. Gary V. Mm. And one of my yeah. clients recently watched Gary V. And, you know, this guy said, Rag, I'm struggling to hustle, hustle, hustle. I've watched you, you're hustling. How do I hustle? Yeah. Now, I hustle elegantly. I don't work around the clock to kill myself. I don't believe in that. Mm. I don't believe that's why we're here on this planet. I know people say one life, therefore you need to work. No, one life, you need to enjoy it. <laughs> don't go out working I guarantee you people in their deathbed do not say oh I wish I worked harder so the advice to hustle around the clock is the most bullshit stupid advice I've ever heard in my life like mm. you, seriously jump off a bridge sounds more sensible than hustle but you know it's just hustle around the clock just doesn't deliver results because 
it tires you out. So I had a client who said, Rag, I'm trying to hustle around the clock. I can't. I worked out what his top values were. We sat down and we looked at his values because very often, if there's a conflict, it's within your beliefs or values. Yeah. So it's not his beliefs, it was his values. His top values were number one, freedom was number one. Family was number two. Religion is number three. He wasn't meeting any of his values. So inside he felt broken. He felt so, so, so broken. And that's, that's the challenge. So you see, you've got to identify your values, number one. You've got to do what's true to you. But the second thing is just values-based looking after yourself. You know, I love what Tony Robbins does with his company. When they sit down every year and plan the year out in advance, what they do is he gets the staff to put their holidays in first, take as much time off as they want, as they need. They map that out, and then the work goes on top. You know, Tony Robbins is the best in the industry, and he's a very focused, achievement-hungry individual. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah. he doesn't think about, okay, guys, we're going to work, we're going to have outcomes, we're going to do sales, money, revenue. That's all great. But he wants to make sure that the people working in his company are looked after, mm. and they've created this culture of incredible love and respect. So instead, he gets them to prioritize himself first, and then he puts everything else around them. So within your game, give yourself what you need. But when I start my morning, I love some time to myself to do morning rituals. I have my coffee. I start my day with a morning uh, coffee in the morning, and I love right. that. Mm-hmm. And I give myself what I need. I go for a run during the middle of the day because I can. I run my own business. I love it. Give yourself what you need. If it's taking an hour off in the evening to chill, do that. But it's prioritizing your system. And then on top of that, you can build your whatever your plan is to get things done. But always start with you because once you look after you, you're going to feel motivated. Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You've got to look after number one first and then when you, you can't pour from empty glass, right? So if you, if you look after yourself, you're then able to go and, you know, look after everybody else and do whatever you need to do, fulfill all your responsibilities, do all the tasks. So yeah, no, awesome, man. That's, uh, that's great advice. And people who are watching this, I mean, come on, seriously, Raghav's just dropping just, you know, tons of value on you right now okay he's he's opening up and he's really breaking stuff down for you guys so you guys need to be taking action okay as always i'm gonna challenge you guys i'm gonna urge you guys to go and take action don't just watch this and then walk away with it and then you know click on you know some some uh, other video on youtube and waste your time you know walk away with with the life lessons that raghav is actually sharing with you right now he's worked with thousands of people and he is actually sharing the absolute the cream of the crop here with you he's giving you the keys to the kingdom so go and take action okay now raghav thank you so much for all of this um i've got a few more questions just very quickly uh that i want to cover with you can you maybe just talk to us about you know, when you're working with a client, what, how mm-hmm. do you actually work with them to find out what exact specific breakthrough they need to make in order to actually achieve the results they want? Mm-hmm. Well, it always comes up. You know, the truth always comes up. The truth will always set you free. Cheesy expression, it's true. So how do I find out the breakthrough? Well, we sit down and we look at their vision first. Right. We uncover the vision. Right. Why are they here? What are they here to do? So mm-hmm. we get the values, we do the vision. What's the mark they want to make on the planet? What's the impact they want to have? Yeah. And once I understand that, and we look at the map, the strategy, what holds, whatever's holding them back always naturally comes up. It always shows up because the truth will set you free. Yeah. It's obvious. You just can't miss it. So as far as how can you figure out where you need a breakthrough? Well, what's missing from your life right now? What isn't working? Where are you not taking action? You know you could be taking action. Where are you making excuses that you really know are excuses? Even if you're telling yourself, I'll do it tomorrow, I haven't had the time, that's BS. You know it yourself. So it's just figuring out where am I actually not being true to myself and out of integrity. And once you know that, right. then great, everything else will flow. You can then you've got awareness around it. So start by trying to create awareness in your life. Self awareness is the first step to a breakthrough. So just create awareness. Yeah. 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 Awesome. awesome. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's really powerful. Yeah, that's really, that's powerful. really, really powerful. That's great, really man. Um, okay. So we talked a lot about you know um, your clients and you t- actually shared some really really amazing information with us what um, I think we uh, we would like to know a little bit is um, who who is the person in your life who actually helps helps you like grounds you mm-hmm yeah, wow, great question. You know, I've got, I'm really privileged to have some extraordinary people around me. Some great friends, you know, family, loved ones. 
you know, I've always got a few of my inner tribe that call up when I'm going through stuff, when I'm going through challenges. You know, people look at me and they think, Rag, do you go through challenges? You know, I had someone at my seminar recently, around a few weeks ago, right. he came up to me and said, Rag, do you ever go through challenges? You look like you got your stuff together. And I just laughed and I said, I go through challenges every day, mentally, emotionally, I go, psychology, I go through loads of challenges. Mm. So I'm lucky that I've got friends around me that I can pick up the phone to and just say, hey, look, I'm just going through something. What do you think? And they're there for me. And that, again, is a principle of peak performance. If you want to thrive, take extraordinary people with you mm. so you can give and take. You yeah. can grow and give with these people and contribute. Yeah. So who you spend time with is who you become. So I'm really privileged. I've got a lot of incredible friends around me. Awesome, man. Awesome. And, you know, people who are watching this, I say this quite a lot. You know, you are the average of the five people you spend the t most time with. Guess what? It's the Jim Rohn quote, okay? We were just talking about Jim Rohn earlier. It's the Jim Rohn quote, okay? You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, okay? You need to upgrade your five. You need to have some awesome people around you. And that's exactly what, what Raghav just told us, that he has some amazing people in his life who help him stay grounded and work his magic, okay? That's awesome. So, Raghav, can you tell us the top three to five books that have had the most or the biggest impact in your life? Cool. Top three to five books. So, number one has got to be Think and Grow Rich for me. It's, again, one of the father books of personal development. Without a doubt, Think and Grow Rich. I love it. Yeah. Number two has got to be uh, Man's Search for Meaning. Fantastic book. Mm. If you haven't yeah. read Man's Search for Meaning, read it. It will inspire you. Hmm. You read Man's Search for Meaning, you won't ever have any problems in your life. You, you just won't, you'll realize you don't have any problems. Such a beautiful <laughs> book. Powerful, moving. Yeah. It shakes people, but it's, it's a great book. Awesome. Number three would be How to Win Friends and Influence People. Yeah. It's a great book, very hmm. simple. Strategies are simple. Yet, yeah, it's the simple things we don't apply, which is why common sense isn't common. So it's the most amazing, simple tools and strategies that if you pull into your life today, will a light genuinely connect with the human beings around you. Yeah. Number four has got to be The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Oh, yeah. And I love that book mm. because Darren talks about the one principle that creates our world, decisions, the power of decisions. Like, if you don't believe me, you guys are here because you made a decision to watch this. Mm. You're in front of your computer, your phone, because you made a decision to buy that computer, that phone. Yeah. Our entire life is created by decisions, powerful decisions or not so powerful. So it's learning how we can influence our decision-making to create the results we want. And number five, gosh, it's just so many, but if I could pick <laughs> one more. Yeah. This is a slightly more spiritual book, and it's called Loyalty to Your Soul. Right. Loyalty to Your Soul, The Heart of Spiritual Psychology. And today, probably the most powerful book I've read in, really? in my life. Wow. Yeah, wow. in terms of personal development, probably easily the most powerful. It's not, for example, if you read it, it's not... The content in it is great, but it's the way it's written. The mm -hmm. best strategies were simply written that connect you with who you are. So it's a deeper book. It's not for it's not so for people that don't like going to that level of depth, but it just requires that depth when you read it. The understanding of the soul, wanting a soul connection with yourself. Because mm. that's where all the change comes from at the end of the day. So it's it's an amazing, powerful book. Everyone I've recommended it to has just been blown away. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Okay. No, that's a good list, man. That's a, that's a solid list. And uh, again, people, you know, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and uh, get, get your hands on those books. Okay. Whether uh, if you can, if you want to buy them, awesome, you know, then you get to keep it for the rest of your life. You can get it on Audible, probably most of them. Or if, if you want, you can just go and pick a copy from, from your local library. Okay. And that's free. Come on, man. Sure. You can just spend some time reading those awesome books, which Raghav just recommended. And they're written by some really, really amazing people. Okay. I can vouch for that. I haven't read all of them, but I'm definitely familiar with all of them. So I will yeah. ask you guys to go ahead and take action. All right, go ahead, take action. Grab a copy of the book, whether it's from the library or, you know, you order off Amazon, download it on Audible, whatever works for you. Go ahead and check them out. Raghav, can you also recommend for us some, some podcasts or some lectures, um, anything like that, that that might also help people? <laughs> Yeah, podcasts. I don't listen to many podcasts myself, to be honest, because okay. I get a lot of content from YouTube. I'm a big YouTuber. I go on YouTube. I watch TEDx channels. TEDx, I need to catch up more. There's yeah. so many books I want to read and study. But I go on, you know, Audible's are great. It's Talalsa. Just download Audible. You can get audio mm -hmm. books. I listen to Thinking Very Rich regularly just to feed my mind and program my mindset. <laughs> nice. then, yeah, and I love that book. It's, it's powerful. And then YouTube. Go on YouTube. You can browse hundreds of different thinkers and speakers, the likes of 
Dr. Michael Beckworth, Jack Canfield, Lisa Nichols, yeah. you know, Oprah, yeah. 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 Bob Proctor, Dr. Martini, all these incredible thinkers, Tony Robbins, mm. Les Brown, all these guys are out there on YouTube, just any name, even Esther Hicks, Jerry Hicks, I love this stuff, Abraham Hicks, go to YouTube, type them in, they'll come up, and you get an access to hundreds and hundreds of hours of content. Mm. So that's the best place to go. Fantastic, fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. Now, Raga, for your workshops and seminars, I know you you obviously do a, a lot of you know speaking and also lots of you know uh, seminars and workshops. What are some of the main topics that you cover with people in your workshops and your seminars? Okay, so workshop seminars. What I cover is there's two different t- seminars I run, and you know I'm just finished one, so the next one will be coming out hopefully next year, actually early next year. Oh, and then my right. workshop should be. I've got one coming out this year as well. One of my workshops. One of them is my what I call my living empowered intensive. It's for maximum of five people, five high performers that really want to take their lives to the next level. Right. And what I cover and what I give them is a action made tailor made plan for them on their life. I mean throughout the whole day they're going to work on it with an incredible peer group. And they're going to uncover the five pillars you need in your life to be a peak performance in your life and business. If one of these is missing, I guarantee you're going to feel stuck, overwhelmed, or like you need a breakthrough. Through all my work, I've realized that there's these five patterns you need to have in your life. Mm. If any are missing. And unfortunately, most people have two or three of them missing, oh, even wow. maybe four or five. Wow. So it's a really powerful program. And at the end of it, you walk away with a peer group and they work with you throughout the entire year. So you've got this accountability group. Once you've got this one-year vision, you get all this stuff done as part of the plan. One of them is a vision. You walk away with a vision and a strategy for the year ahead. So then you get a peer group to help you with each part of the, the peak performance plan. Awesome. So that's my impact intensive. Right. And my seminar, Create a Breakthrough. That's a powerful two-day event and it's... What do I cover? Well, all the best tools and strategies I've ever come across in my life that create real, rapid, lasting change in people. I'm talking the deepest strategies that help people let go of tough times, challenging situations, break through tough situations, discover who they are, be their best, and create the life they want. Brilliant. Awesome, man. That's great. That's great to hear. I, I think that's incredible. The fact that you know, um, you're not just able to work with uh, a small group but you have a, you're able to actually cater for a wider audience and, and actually work with yeah. all the people present there that's fantastic that's mm-hmm. great um i wonder if you um are are somebody who um who's into meditation it's something that i want to do more but i haven't done so much lately and you know, i've gone into meditation retreats i've got you know what i've wanted to learn from them but okay i'll do so many other morning rituals Meditation, I recommend it. I know why as well. Even from a yeah. scientific point of view, they extend your telomeres, which basically means you live longer and you age less quickly. Yeah. But it's something that it's one of my commitments going forwards. Like even just ten minutes a day, that's it's something. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay. Cool. That's great, man. Because um, I know lots of uh, people who recommend meditation, um, and uh, I was just wondering where you stand with meditation. I, I personally meditate you know as much as i can sometimes multiple times a day i have different ones you know one for the morning one for the evening one for when i'm trying to sleep and one for like after uh, like i i have my lunch break and all sorts of other stuff so i have like you know many different types of meditations that i do i find them personally to be very very helpful um and i highly recommend you know anybody who's watching this try and go and check on meditation as well it's a really, really powerful tool. If you don't know much about meditation, there's lots of free stuff available on YouTube. You can just go and check that out. Um, and uh, if you are an experienced meditator, well, you know, there's lots of other stuff like, you know, apps on the phone. There's a really amazing one called Headspace and uh, Inside Timer and all sorts of other ones that you can go and check out as well. Um, but yeah, thank you, man. That's, uh, that's cool. And uh, I, I, I personally would say that, you know, um, meditation is... Is something that is quite dear to me now because uh, when I first started, I wasn't very, very good at it and uh, definitely didn't really know what, what it could do for me. But when I started doing more of it, I started to achieve massive results, amazing results. Um, and it all came from within, like all the results from within and then they manifested and obviously I was able to create other results, you know, in, in the physical realm. So that was, uh, that was really amazing. And I don't want to go too spiritual here, kind of thing, like, you know, put everybody off, but um, definitely I would recommend meditation. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So, Raghav, you know, what's, what's your main focus right now? Um, and, and how can people help you? 
That's amazing. So what's my main focus? Well, it's just spreading my message of living empowered, helping people realize that the tools to create change in their life come from inside of here. And outside there, all change comes from within. So it's helping people equip themselves with the tools and strategies to be their best and want, importantly, wanting to own their best. So how can people help me? Well, I'm on Facebook regularly. If you like my videos, I'd love it if you could share them, if you could promote them with your friends or even send one of my videos to someone you know who's going through a tough time in their life. Yeah. Apart from that, mm. if you know, I do one-to-one coaching, so you know, I go through different phases of my business and if you're interested in a powerful conversation, reach out. You know, hopefully I've got some spots in my coaching business. If not, we can put you on the wait list. Otherwise, if you know someone that really wants to improve their life and business and just play at the highest level possible, let's connect for that powerful conversation. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So, guys, if you're watching this, uh, you know, check check out Raghav on Facebook, catch him on Instagram, and also the fact that if you go to his website, which is um, Raghav Pakash, uh, is it dot com is that right, com. right? Yeah. Com. Awesome. Yep. so if you go there actually you can find a lot more about Raghav you can also book uh, a free um, kind of like a initial contact call with Raghav okay absolutely free um, and uh, Raghav will just jump on a call with you and he will have a chat with you and uh, I think that would be really really beneficial because then you can see exactly you know how Raghav can help you and at the end of the day, Raghav is somebody who has worked with thousands of people from all sorts of different backgrounds. There is absolutely no reason for you to think that he can't help you. So again, I'm going to challenge you guys to go ahead and take action and book that free call. Okay, what, are you ha- what do you have to lose? Seriously, what do you have to lose? Just book that free call, reach out to Raghav, and uh, just, just see where it goes. Just start a conversation. And I always urge you guys to connect with all the guests that I bring on on the channel it's really important to me that you actually go and reach out to the guests because i know the value that they can provide for you okay that's why they're here that's why i bring them on to the channel so seriously reach out to ragav you know just even if you um go to the contact uh, section of the website you can go on facebook or instagram and send him a message just send him a message start a conversation and who knows where it can go okay so i highly encourage you guys to go and take action on that now raga we just uh like to do a quick lightning like a quick fire round just two three questions okay um and then we'll hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to uh, you know close up so first of all um if you were deserted on a desert island for a whole year which three people in the whole world will you take with you apart from friends and family which three people would I take with me on Desert Island? Yeah, apart from friends and family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It would probably have to be like Bear Grylls, Elon Musk, and Tony Robbins. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that list. I like that list. Mm-hmm. And, and you did have to think about it quite a lot. So I'm a bit surprised because mostly people have to take a step back and think about it. That was just yeah, it's pretty, there, man. Yeah, for me, it's quite obvious straight away because I, I don't even know if Bear Grylls follow him a lot, but he's great in survival, I think. He knows yes. all the survival principles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony Robbins, but helping someone get the minds and get stuff done. Elon Musk is innovation. He'd help us figure out some a plane made out of leaves if he had to, to get off the island with the work <laughs> he's doing. So, yeah, those are the three people that have taken me. Fantastic. That's awesome, man. Now, if you actually had to give up being a peak performance coach, what is the one thing that you'd miss the most about it? Just ch- seeing the change in people. I love the change in people. My favorite thing is when they discover who they are. And that's the one thing I love. They work with me and we do all the inner work, how to work, work in the business. But when they discover who they truly are, that's where the gold lies. That's where the power is. So seeing them figure out who they are and then step into that and then to create their life from that place. Awesome. Awesome. That's great, man. And also, my final uh, question in the rapid fire round. If you had the opportunity to go on a stage in front of say 5 million people, what's the one message that you would want to put across? The one message is that the power inside of you is greater than anything outside of you. So whatever change there is you want to create. You know, as one of my mentors taught me just the other day, I went to his event. I love to go to events to feed my mind. He said, the answer to everything you want in life is yes. You need to just figure out the how. Mm. So whatever it is you want in your life, any change you want to make, any impact you want to have, yeah. The answer is yes. You need to figure out the how. So whatever you want to do with your life, if you want to break through or if you're looking just to play a bigger game, connect to that part of you that wants it and create the change from the inside out because you've got everything right now inside of you. You need to go make this happen. 
you don't believe me, the ideas are going to come from you. The actions are going to come from you. The steps, the picking up the phone to the right people is going to come from you. So all change comes from the inside out. So be the change you wish to see. The power of the news is greater than anything outside of you. And go and create the life you want. Love it. Absolutely love it, brother. Thank you so much. Um, where can people go? I mean, we talked about Facebook and your website and also Instagram. But uh, is there any way that people can, can get in touch with you? Any, anything that you, you, can, uh, you can share with people so they can contact you? Yeah, I mean, Facebook is the best way to contact me. Okay. Raga Parkash on Facebook. My website is also the other place to contact me. The best place again, www.ragaparkash.com. Awesome. I'm active on Instagram. I'm about to relaunch my YouTube channel very soon. Oh, brilliant. Uh, awesome. Twitter. I'm up. What else am I doing? There's loads of other stuff I'm doing as well. LinkedIn, but mainly Facebook, YouTube, and my website, importantly. Brilliant. Well, Raghav, what I will do is I'll put all those links below in the description of the video so people can actually go there and reach out to you directly. Um, you, can, you can send them over to me, you know, um, just, just making sure that obviously I don't misspell anything. Uh, but if, if you don't mind sending them over, all the handles, all the links I'll put below in the description of the video. Thank you so sure. much for your time. You are uh, an amazing human being who's doing amazing work with lots of people. And, uh, you know, you dropped a lot of value on us today. So thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you having you on. Thank you. Thanks for being, uh, thanks for inviting me here. Thank uh, you. It's been uh, a pleasure. Awesome, man. No, I had a blast as well. And uh, I'd love to have you back on later on for round two, if you're up for it. I look forward to it. I can't wait. Super excited. Fantastic. Thanks, awesome, buddy. man. Thank you very much. Right, guys. Take care. <laughs> yes. Take care, guys, and thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I really appreciate it, as always. And uh, finally, I just want to say, make sure you go ahead and take action on everything that we have talked about today. Raghav's dropped some massive, massive value on us. And, uh, you know, it's, it's up to us now to go ahead and take action. I know there's lots of amazing things that I'm going to be taking away from this conversation. I'm going to be acting on all those things myself. And uh, I would I'll lastly just encourage you to go ahead, reach out to Raghav, you know, whichever way you want to reach out to him, Facebook, Instagram, you know, his website, etc. Um, simply just start a conversation. You don't know where it's going to go. Um, so just start a conversation. I mean, you know, sometimes it's, it's you know, you, you must have heard the saying, like, it's, it's not about what you know, it's who you know. And uh, Raghav yeah. is somebody who's, you know, really putting himself out there to you guys to really help you guys. So go ahead and start the conversation. That's my challenge to you, okay? Apart from that, have an amazing time. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, stay awesome, and hustle hard.